What's up, y'all? Welcome to the TAPS D2 Championships. Wes? Very excited. Should be a very good slate of games. What? Uh, oh, yeah. What a time. You know, all the cum culmination of all these weeks. Finally here, man. I'm excited. Uh, I know that uh, what's called whatever happens today, um, All Saints is gonna win. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, that's my pick. That's my pick. But uh, what's called Walker this week? We know picked uh, All Saints, and you picked Fort Ben, right? I did. So, Wes, talk about what you've seen from Fort Ben and what you think they're gonna do today. I can't even tell if anyone can hear us because of everything going on in the background. But Fort Ben's passing attack is so lethal. It's gonna be a big question whether All Saints is second can contain them. I think if All Saints can get a good pass rush and make Dever uncomfortable, that's their best chance in this game. But I think it's going to be close. I'm really looking forward to it. And Walker, obviously, you know, I've I've seen All Saints, uh, what's called, and what, you know a lot about the Fort Worth area and everybody that plays the Fort Worth. How do, what do you know about All Saints and what, what can you say? Yeah, the Fort Worth team, I think, you know, both teams have great offensive passing, but I think what's really going to come down to is the run game for both teams. Uh, both offensive lines are really, really good, but the question is who's going to come out on top? Uh, we, we found, I finally saw the Fort Worth All Saints offensive line for the first time in, real, uh, in person. It's impressive. Very, very impressive. All those guys, Charlie Johnson, Ben and Anali, uh, Ian Bothwell, all those guys are really, really good. The question is, who can establish the run game? Because I think the defensive backs for both squads are going to be really, really good. Who can shut down the run game and honestly try to make them pass on the two elite defensive back groups? Speaking of the O-line, this is the third year in a row they've had at least one or two O-linemen go play Division One football. They have two this year. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it just proves that All Saints has one of the best O lines in all of Taps, um, and yeah, we just you can see today every guy on that line six five, you know, like bulky, bigger than bigger than me is what I'll say. But uh, feel free to let us know your thoughts of who you think is going to win in the Instagram live. We're all uh, we can see what you're saying. We have the live in front of us. But thank you for joining on this beautiful morning, 11 11:30. I'm guessing is what it is right now. We're about uh, 16 minutes till kickoff. Uh, from what I have seen in Fort Worth, All Saints, I'll just say this. Robert Sanders is an absolute dog on the defensive side. Um, in the past however many games, he's averaging about an interception, or at least, let's say this, he's averaging a turnover and a half each game. Um, so, you know, look for him to be somebody on the both. He plays defensive end, but somehow he's getting, you know, you'll, you'll see him get two picks in a game and take one back for a pick six. On the offensive side, uh, Jalen Spriggs a quarterback, and uh, um, you'll see you know, him hit Chris Powell Freeman, uh, Javon Williams, all those guys. They're all dogs. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think I, I've never seen Fort Ben play this year, but I don't know. I think I think Fort Ben with Brady Dever, a guy that's, you know, on in route again to throw 300 yards again this game, you know, at the very least, right? Uh, so. But. Uh, yeah, anything else y'all have to say about this Tap C2 championship? You know, oh, I wanted to say something that was really interesting to me is the coaching. I didn't even think about it that All Saints has, elite, uh, recruit, has had elite college talent throughout the years. But the thing about it is a lot of those guys have come back and coached at All Saints. The special teams, you know, they have uh, Demetrius Knox coming back on the offensive line. Mike Williams is here uh, who went to Stanford. Those guys learning the ropes from the guys who've actually done it in the college level is very, very cool. And I think on the other side, uh, especially on the offensive defensive line for All Saints. Offensive line for Fort Ben is by a guy who's played in the NFL, Jordan Black, who is a great coach and knows how to play the offensive line. And you see the success they've had in the offensive line with Ben Warren, Remington Strickland in the past. Coaching is going to make a big, big part here to see who can come out on top. Jordan Black new to the game here to private school versus a guy like Aaron Beck, who, man, he's been here around forever, winning championship out of a championship. So it's going to be very interesting to see how coaching affects this team. And also, if y'all can hear us, please let us know, because I'm very intrigued if we can even hear us. Yeah, I, I, I there's a lot of going around in the background. Uh, teams are still in the locker rooms right now at the moment, but, yeah, they're about to come out, about to come out of the locker room. Literally, we're in the middle of both locker rooms on both sides, you know. But uh, it's a wet one out here as well. Temperature about 55 degrees, from what I can tell. And, uh, yeah, we had a little rain this morning here in Wake but yeah, we're excited. Game one of four, y'all. Uh, tonight is Parrish versus Presswood at seven o'clock, uh, and yeah, I think I think we're looking forward to it. Tune in again for our uh, live stream for the Presswood Parish game. It'll be around six thirty as well. Um, but yeah, if, unless you'll have any, Wes, you didn't give your remarks anything. But anything you have to say before we go? No. One thing I'm really interested in, I think a big storyline is these were both 
our picks to make the state championship preseason. And as the season started, they both faced a lot of adversity, a lot of injuries. They didn't play like the teams we thought they were capable of. Now both of them are hitting their stride in playoff and really turning into the teams that we thought they could be preseason. I think it's a really good matchup. There's D1 talent all over the field. I think this has the potential to be the best game of the weekend. I'm very excited for it. Yeah, definitely one where, you know, whether it be preseason or whether it be now, we really didn't have a favorite going into the season. We were all jumbled up. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if we, we're still split. We're still split two to one today. So, um, yeah, unless you'll have anything more to say, I think that's going to be it for our, our pregame little thing. We have one little thing. Uh, all right. Well, Anyways, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, this has been our pregame for the TAPS D2 Championship. We'll see you all again at 6.30.